hi and welcome to my video uh, this video is on a demo on Fortinet uh, so you will see the uh, Fortinet interface here so I'm going to log in and we can start the demo so as soon as I log in you can see the uh, the home page uh, you can see it's a 40 gate ATC which is a relatively small appliance small to medium you've got a few options here help Wizard Wizard will initially help you set up the appliance and log out. Here we can see widgets. Uh, you've got your system information widget, system resources, top sessions, licensing information, unit operation. Unit operation is quite good. Uh, you can see the, the appliance layout itself. You can hover over these uh, ports to see the status of them. Uh, I like the CLI widget as well. So the Fortinet GUI doesn't support all features and settings. Some you have to configure within the CLI. So you've got your CLI here. Uh, an example would be dynamic routing. Some of dynamic routing you can only do through the CLI. Uh, and you've got another widget here, Alert Message Console. Um, these widgets, uh, you can create your own. Uh, you can create your own widgets and you can create your own dashboard. So you can customize this for your own uh, preference. Uh, system information widget in particular you can change things directly from the widget so uh, host name change the host name uh, change the operation mode it's in that mode at the moment uh, HA status it's in standalone so you can do things from the widget firmware version uh, you can update it here currently we're on version 4 MR3 which is the latest version as of today um, yeah, so you can back up from here as well. Uh, virtual domains, uh, you can turn it into a virtual, uh, multiple virtual firewalls. Uh, this is disabled, so you can enable it from here, which will uh, enable a few more tabs down here to configure your virtual domains. Um, on the left hand side, by the way, is, is where all your major settings are. So you've got your system tab, router tab, firewall tab, UTM tab, VPN tab user endpoint security wi-fi controller uh, and logging and reporting so you can see it's a bit of a beast of a product a uh, utm appliance and there's an awful lot of uh, things it can do uh, starting on the system tab uh, we can go down to network interface so you can see uh, your interfaces here you can double click one of them to see the settings within the interface um, wait spillover threshold these are used for one load balancing so you can specify your threshold here if you if you wanted this um, addressing mode manual DHP or point to point of Ethernet uh, going down this section here you've got you can specify your DNS uh, addresses you can specify the appliance and, and, and create a DTP server so it's, it's at least in our IP addresses um, an explicit proxy so your appliance can be an explicit proxy as well uh, in the config section, you've got high availability. So you've, you, it's in standalone mode currently. You can, uh, if you have two or more firewalls, you can uh, deploy an active passive or active active for load balancing. Uh, SNMP messages and replacement messages uh, uh, in in these these relevant sections here. Uh, the admin section, you can create. Uh, administrators, uh, different levels of administrators, um, and uh, you know, configure roles and permissions for each one of them. Uh, you can specify certificates, uh, pre uh, pre signed certificates, or you can uh, uh, in, uh, deploy uh, globally uh, identified certificates via the likes of VeriSign or GoDaddy, for example. Maintenance is where you'd uh, do all your maintenance tasks, your firmware upgrades, uh, your FortiGuard subscriptions. Um, and finally, monitor is uh, just to monitor your DHCP and uh, having a look at your clients and who's um, currently at least a, a DHCP IP address. Uh, the router tab, uh, here you'd have your static routes, your policy routes, uh, dynamic, you've got your dynamic routing protocols, a RAPO, SPF, BGP, and multicasting, and you can monitor these routes. Uh, currently, I have two static routes and a direct connection. Um, firewalling, here's where all you, you, you'd probably spend most of your time in the firewall section and in the, in the UTM section as well. Uh, policies, this is where you'd create a policy. 
um, if we create a new one you can specify your source interface source address destination interface destination address uh, a schedule uh, you can create the schedule from here you may want to create a schedule so you're allowing uh, users to Facebook at a particular time of the day for example services uh, what services you're allowing through this uh, policy and the action accept deny IPsec uh, SLVPN uh, you can enable NAT identify uh, sorry I enable identity based policy so uh, you want to identify the user before you allow them uh, access this is uh, uh, typically used for SLVPN or web filtering um, and here we have the uh, UTM uh, tick box if, if we tick that you can uh, specify which UTM um, profiles you want to use within this policy you'd create these UTM profiles in the UTM section you just specify which ones you want to use here or actually there's a shortcut plus sign so you could create them from here as well in the UTM you've got your UTM um, um, section so antivirus intrusion protection web filtering email filtering DLP application control and monitor so they, they are fairly granular uh, IPS and web filtering very granular in particular uh, IPS uh, you, you can specify um, you don't have to just enable all signatures for everything it could be signatures just for you may be protecting your web servers or specific protocol specific specific application so you can enable that for me your web filtering uh, is for uh, your, your categories and recategorizing and so on um, application control is good it, you can block applications you can block uh, applications such as log me in and team viewer uh, you can specify traffic shaping up on applications as well so you, you can you can guarantee maximum amount uh, minimum amount of bandwidth or, or give a, a certain application maximum amount of bandwidth VPN uh, so here's your, your VPN connectivity you can use IP set you create your phase one phase two from here you've got your SL VPN you can create your portal if we double click one of these So this is what the portal will look like. You've got your widgets here. You, you, can, you can choose your widgets from here. Um, yep, yeah, you can create bookmarks. So you can uh, directly click a bookmark, and, and, and that will open up the service for you. You can mimic IPsec by tunnel mode. So connect, and you, you connect to the whole network, or you can use connection tools as well. Um, so you use any of these connection tools to connect to a service. You can also use a virtual desktop application. So this will uh, open up a, a virtual environment for you, which is completely uh, remote, uh, segregated from the the host itself. So it's, it's and and when you close a session, the virtual environment is completely scrapped and cleaned cleaned up from your cache. So it's just for security purposes. Um, yeah, so you, you create a new uh, virtual desktop environment from here. Sorry, this is actually virtual desktop applications. Uh, this is uh, something else. Your virtual uh, desktop is within the settings feature here. And it's virtual desktop here. So you can enable your virtual desktop and you've got some uh, criteria here you can choose. And you could uh, you could do some host checking on the uh, clients themselves, uh, making sure they they have a firewall antivirus software uh, installed before you allow them access to your uh, your network. Users, this is where you'd specify users, uh, your authentication, uh, your user groups, and you can um, uh, integrate this with the uh, LDAP Active Directory, Radius, TACX, and so on. Um, you can also specify Fortinet actually have uh, introduced Fort tokens so you can do two factor authentication using Fortinet's own uh, Fort, uh, Fort token technology. Endpoint security so ensuring your endpoints are up to date and secure uh, so you can manage your endpoints from here as well. You can do network vulnerability scanning, Wi Fi controller, uh, manage. Uh, Wi-Fi access points, dumb access points, so Fortinet access points. Uh, this particular feature, the rogue access points, one is a good one for PCI DSS compliance. Um, finally, logging and reporting. 
Um, the fortunate login reporting is um, the on the appliance itself it's fairly limited but they do a 40 analyzer which is a, a very powerful uh, login and reporting appliance just dedicated to do login and reporting so it's a bit of a, a high level overview of this uh, and uh, I hope you've, uh, you've uh, learned something from it uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day